90 degree plus temperatures this week. That means most of our air conditioners going to be working overtime, but there are some things you can do to keep the cost down and try to beat the heat. Yeah, joining us now is Ashley Sooks with Georgia Less. So what can you do to save yourself some cash? Because this is the time of year when those electric bills can get kind of shocking. Exactly. And the high <laughs> heating up the inside of your house. Well, mom, your daughter knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. Now, there, was, there was another surprising thing in there. It was on your list. It's it's that secondary refrigerant program where you can receive a $50. Yeah, well, you wouldn't think about it. But now if it's in the house, is that a little better if you've got one of those yes. secondary fridges within your own house? I haven't really heard of secondary fridge. Well, because there's one for food, there's one for wine. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a baby fridge, but yeah, it's... it's if it's being used and it's in the house, yes, that'll be fine because the house okay. is air conditioned, so gotcha. it's not working as hard. All right, Ashley Stooks. Yes. So good to have you here. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Thank you so and much great for tips having us. Yeah. Hopefully we can use we can use those tips this weekend and keep mm -hmm. those energy bills low. All right, folks. By the way, you got to check this out uh, um, because we're going to talk a little bit more about your attic because your attic can be a real heat source for your home. Okay. So you think about it, the blazing hot sunshine, right? Yeah. Coming down on your roof, you got black shingles, mm -hmm. rough surface. It's like the best absorber of heat you could possibly right. have Then radiates through the, of that absorbed energy. Yeah, so it's hot up there with the Christmas tree, the Halloween decorations, and Mike's stuff. Yes, there's a lot of Mike's <laughs> stuff up there. But think about it, though. There's such a heat source right. up. You, you run in the ceiling fan, but it may not be doing you much good. And if you've got any leaks here, you need to... It's intuitive to be running your AC like crazy because you're just... You're wasting, You're wasting money. Your time, You're friend. totally <laughs> wasting money, right? So the best thing that you can do is put in some insulation. You can actually get solar shields as well because you, get, you, totally. you can't you can't reflect it back out. Oh yeah, I mean you felt it if you've ever had to go up in the attic in the middle of July to go get something. It's and 30, 40 degrees warmer than the interior of your house, yeah. but it's warming up your house and you may not know it. Yeah. We've got a lot of problems when you've got a, a hot attic and a leaky attic. Leaky attics. Oh, no there's fun. nothing good came from a leaky attic, no. trust us. No. All right, folks, stick around. We've got a lot more to come here on Weather Underground. Obviously, interact with us, folks. Uh, so if you use the hashtag WUTV on uh, Twitter, we'll answer your questions live. Ryan has your questions right now. Yeah. If you're just near mm -hmm. the ground and you don't get that cloudy ground stroke. So that's why when I was schlepping along the streets of Syracuse, carrying all my, my camera and gear, and there was thunder, snow, Snow and like crazy. That's why I never got struck. Like, and I was totally safe. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say no, it's I'm just kidding. not going to happen. <laughs> no. I'm just like, way less I was a college student. This was before likely. I went to meteorology school. So I didn't. She's like, eh. I was like, no I don't idea, think right? this will hurt me, right? Oh, boy. All right. The next one comes from Brady and Brady. But not likely. Away from the parent thunderstorm yeah. itself. So it's an, it's not out of the question, but generally those are also pretty weak. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty rare. I feel like there was one maybe in South Georgia, maybe within the last year or two. Do you guys remember this one? It was like, and we were all kind of surprised because the thunderstorm didn't look super. Was that the one at Fort Stewart? Y yeah, I mean, well, was it Fort? It was South, <laughs> no. Might have been. <laughs> Was it? I don't, I, don't know. I don't recall exactly. But usually if they happen, if there's it's, a, if it's, it's, a, rare. it's a weak thunderstorm, it's, it's a weak rare. tornado, it'll be like seconds. For a tornado, there has to be a strong rotating updraft, exactly. which right. generally doesn't come with a weak thunderstorm. Exactly. So. Gotcha. Um, the next one is from Exotic Games. I think it depends on you high. personally, too, and what you've been doing. If you're laying out, you know, drinking Bud Lights like crazy, you're dehydrated, too, you can overheat. I mean, you may not mm -hmm. be exerting yourself, but you're still putting yourself out there in yep. those elements. You're still raising your core body temperature, right, which right. is what the problem is. The next question comes from Tyler, and Tyler wants to... Oh, I think tomorrow. I want to say two and than, one. Less than, yeah, less than three, right? Yeah, definitely yeah. less than We're thinking less than more three. of a we wind threat. Keep sending your questions. WUTV is the hashtag. D. That girl is okay, but things could have turned out a lot differently. Yeah, it could have been a whole different story because those cars heat up, and I think everybody thinks, I'm just going in for bread. I'm going to be there five minutes. Even five minutes, it gets dangerously much. hot. This is a parked car in the sun after 60 minutes. Outside, air temperature of 70 degrees, but inside that car, 113 degrees. Yeah, I think we get disillusioned. Yeah, that's a 70 degree day. It's a, it's a furnace inside your car. If it's 80 degrees, the inside air temperature goes up to 123 in one hour. Yeah, and a lot of these uh, increases happen within the first few minutes. You get that outside air temperature up to 90 degrees. 
your car is 133 degrees inside. So obviously we're just baking inside. Right. It's no place for humans to be. No living thing should no. be in there. With an outside hip temperature of 100 inside your car, it's 143 degrees. And as you mentioned, most of that happens in the first say, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, that's when we're going to get that fastest increase in temperature. So you know, I've even stopped to tell people, hey, who, who's, is this your car? Because I mm -hmm. saw you leave the dog in the car. And they go, oh, I'm just grabbing a couple things. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. that's when the biggest increase happens. And mm -hmm. when it's a 90 degree day, you're getting into dangerous level. I mean, exactly. you're already in dangerous level. And a lot of states have good Samaritan mm -hmm. laws, which allows you a dark interior color cars, increases the severity of heat. A lot of people have dark leather seats mm -hmm. or a charcoal color or black. It's right. really popular. Cracking windows has very little to no effect on cooling your vehicle's right. interior. So if you're thinking, oh no, I've done, I, it's okay to leave my pet because mm -hmm. I cracked the window. It's not. Doesn't work. It's not people. Don't do it. Just don't don't make me don't make me break your windshield. Just don't do it. <laughs> you feel like you want to, don't you? I'll do All it. right, so let's talk about the impacts on the human body itself because <laughs> heat stroke can set in so quickly. When the temperature of your body rises above 104 degrees, that's is when that's when you're technically considered to have heat stroke. Right, because and and this is deadly. This isn't just, oh, you're getting a little hot, come inside and react. So you actually get these fatal reactions. Vascular shock, it actually reduces blood flow to the brain and you also get less blood leading to the nervous system and so that can cause a malfunction. Also think about this irregular pulse which means you're going to get an arrhythmia so your heart's not beating how it should be right. at regular intervals and you can actually suffer from a heat stroke a heart attack. Right because you're stressing your body mm -hmm. so you're putting your body into a state of stress. Also kidney failure failure because of blood clots that start to form and that'll affect vessels throughout the body. And it can have a lot of impacts on different parts of your body. Blood is flowing how it should be. So a lot of medical factors go into heat stroke. It's not just being succumbed by the heat itself. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's why a lot of times these outdoor events like our CMA Music Festival, you know, people are having a good time, they're drinking, but you, or just not thinking to drink water. You find yourself dishydrated, and then you get into some trouble. Exactly. Heads back to the cave now. Here's Ryan. The high, she's like, Alex, I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah, Bill, too. that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing. That's so, well, this is smart. Yeah. You got AC, no problem. I got it. You binge watch the weather. Yeah, channel. I was gonna say, I've got a uh, lineup on TiVo. I'm ready to go. I'm stuck. Weather up. underground. Weather underground. Weather underground. Weather underground. We Every can now and then, in a tornado alley. You guys actually would make fun of me of how much Weather Channel I do have on my TiVo, we mixed in with Real Housewives. With all the shows you've been on. Yeah. With that what? All the ones in your TiVo, the ones you've been on. Well, learn something okay. there. Yeah. All right, Ryan, let's uh, let's help people at home learn something, answer the questions. All right, first one is from Brandon. Miles yeah. away from the parent thunderstorm be struck. In some cases, I want to say more. I've heard 30. Yeah, I, for some reason, 25 doesn't say, I, I thought okay, that was. Okay, so we're all over the place. Well, no, but Where's I, I feel like. Where's when we need him? He's in the other burp, room. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Summoning Dr. Forbes. What's the deal? <laughs> He's got his deal. Hey, hey, Forbes, how far can you be from a thunderstorm be struck by lightning? Ten miles. Ten miles. Ten miles. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> he, just, he just randomly. He's running, just, too. I can hear him. Are you coming? Forbes, are you coming? I'm here. Oh, oh all right. Look at, him. look at where bound. <laughs> Forbes, he's here. Ten miles. Got my come exercise on, for the day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> come on in. Ryan wants to know, is there going to be a major dust storm around <laughs> That's a oh, tough thing. There's <laughs> probably going to be a right. dust storm somewhere right, in Arizona. Forbes. He's like, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I am for a dust storm. Forbes is like, uh, I wanted a thunderstorm. What a good guy. I love that guy. There is He's a blowing good. dust advisory there, there for is. just <laughs> south of Phoenix and southern Arizona. And there yeah, are some showers. He goes, what's that? He's like, you just randomly talk. He can hear everything. He's like, got rabbit ears. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stick around, folks. We'll be right back here on Weather Underground with Forbes. <laughs> but cities in particular really susceptible to summertime heat because of the urban heat island effect. Right. We talk about the blacktop. We talk about the building surfaces, the, the roofs on top, usually black. And all of that is absorbing the radiation. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Once yeah, I no, said it. Central North America. North Equator, but like, then you get down. You have to go down actually pretty far. It's just like into South America yeah. to get to the That's equator. why I said, well, wait. Okay, but... Where do we stand for the year? Joined again here by our own Dr. Greg Forbes. Things have quieted down quite a bit uh, of recent, and we were behind for the year. That tornado was more was was not necessarily the norm. That was an exception. We haven't had strong tornadoes really this year. No, we have. We've had two. Now, for the year in tornadoes, uh, total tornadoes were all... And we're, we're a third of the way through the month, so what what do you think is responsible? Obviously, that ridge not helping anything because it's pretty much been quiet 
dry and, and hot. Yeah, and the the tropical storm put some damaging winds, but overall below average severe thunderstorm activity as well. So yeah, in a situation like this where we have a ridge that builds in, that doesn't tend to lead to a lot of tornadoes either. You just can tend to get more thunderstorms than anything else. Yeah, that's kind of like we're glad that you're not overly active right now. Yeah. <laughs> you you like taking a couple days off yeah. is usually a good sign for people. Yeah. And Torcon, your, your newest Torcon, by the way, for uh, uh, late weekend is where? Well, Forbes, thank you very much. Well, it's Friday, and you know what that means? Heroes and zeros. And our zero, he's a doozy. That's coming up. <laughs> we call it a doozy. Uh, oh, oh, wait till you see this one. So we come back right here on Weather Underground. We call Forbes a doozy from time to time, <laughs> yeah. too. So. But like a but hero he's not a, version of but a yeah, doozy. But yeah, hero version yeah. of a doozy. Well, Ryan, all here to answer your questions tonight. Last, last chance to answer the questions this week. Yeah, so many trees. A thunderstorm? An, an isolated tree. There's, as you say, there's lots of things. That's All what right. I said. Under a thunderstorm any, itself. Any tall yeah. object. <laughs> that would be the worst thing to be under. Uh, the next one is from Matthew. Sure. What do you think about the storm, Stretch Forbes? Well, that's a tough uh, fork. Another question. All right, mind. and this last one is from Dawson and Dawson. Ears. And this is like the first tweet. Thanks, Dawson. High five. Touchdown. Yeah. All right, let's answer your question. Highest dew point, uh, Key West. You think? It'd be one probably right up there. It's, yeah. yeah, I would think sure. it would be one of probably two. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Right. But Key West does sound like a good one. All right, thank you. I Dawson. feel like I question. went to Key West though, and I like survived. I don't. <laughs> you didn't vacation. Yeah. You yeah. survived. Heat, Much different heat story. and humidity. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't mesh well with heat and humidity. So yeah. I. I went to Key West, and I said I'd go back, which makes me feel like it was okay. maybe it's not. Maybe you went in like January. Maybe I went at the right time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe Dawson's the same boat as you. Can't handle that that heat and humidity. Yeah. So that's why the question. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone, for your questions this evening. All right, let's get you. <laughs> <laughs> for all of us here at Weather Underground, thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a great night. Have a great weekend. And remember, together, we know more. Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs>